Hi, I'm Chris Ockley, Marketing Manager for Pure Fish in Canada. I'm here at the uh, ICAF Show 2011. I'm standing behind or in front of the wall of Havoc, and this is something we're really, really uh, uh, excited about. Uh, the release was at the Bassmasters Classic this year, and I'm telling you, you couldn't walk five feet without hearing Havoc. And this, the excitement just continued. Uh, on to, I mean, we had our our main releases, and there's more to come. So, what what the is really interesting with the Havoc line is that uh, rather than us producing baits uh, in our you know, multi-million dollar uh, facilities that we have and research, and I mean, we have doctors on on staff that are doing this stuff for us. The pros have come to us and said, you know what? Here's the bait that we want to see. Here's the bait that we want produced, and. In reverse, we've we've then gone to the the, uh, the labs and created what they were looking for. So it's super exciting. New shapes, uh, some new colors you'll never have seen for Berkeley in the past, and uh, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. And, and for example, one of the greatest ones that we've got here, the Devil Spear, Mike Iaconelli designed. It was designed actually to be a, a punch bait, something to slip through the weight the weeds real real easily without any appendages. Nice heavy action tail, uh, but you know what? a lot of modifications. Guys are fishing them on jig heads, guys are drop shotting them, but I've got one I want to show you in the tank. It's really cool. Ready? I made reference a little bit earlier about uh, the Devil Spear from Mike Iaconelli. And you know what, I'm going to stand aside. No better man than himself to talk about his bait. So, uh, I appreciate love. that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, it's, it's it's fun, man. I mean, this whole Havoc line, you know, the whole concept from the very beginning was to get the pros together and design products from the ground up. You know, it's it's rare when that happens, but they let us do that. And conceptually, one of my first ideas was to create a bait that could be flipped and pitched in a heavy cover that would have tail movement. You know, so if you look at the body of this bait, it's thin, it's narrow, and it's got no appendages on it, nothing to hang up in the cover. And we wanted to create a tail that had tail movement. So if you look at the tail, and it has these series of ridges. Those ridges are actually going to help the water catch and make tail movement. So it's a great bait to put a big weight on, to pitch it and flip it. But an interesting thing happened, which is when we released it to the public, we started figuring out that there's more ways than one to use the Devil Spear. You know, guys were, were writing in and, and saying, man, we're using it as a drop shot. Guys were writing in and said, we're using it as a Carolina rig. We're using it as a trailer on the jig. But one of the, the best ways that we found, besides flipping and pitching, is to rig this thing as a swim bait. And so we're taking a kale weighted hook, okay? So a, a, a hook with some weight on the keel or the belly of the hook, like a four or five aught. We designed this to, to hold a five aught, and we're rigging it Texas style, but instead of rigging it flat, we're rigging it sideways. So, so look at this as I rig this Texas style, and you'll see what I'm talking about is. When you do that, you get a bait fish profile, right? So now not only do you have this action, but you have a bait that has the body, the shape of a bait fish. It could be a shad, it could be a goby, it could be a little brim, it could be a minnow. And when we rig it sideways, one other little trick is we're gonna get a scissors and we're gonna split that tail down the middle or make two forks. When we get that bait and we reel this in, you're gonna see an incredible tail movement on the reel and then on the pause, you're going to see a fall that shakes and shimmies on the fall. So the bottom line on this Devil Spear, I want you to get one, I want you to try it. However you like to fish, if you flip, pitch, Carolina rig, drop shot, or if you like to fish swim baits, try this thing and hold on because you're going to see action that you've never seen before. That's sick, dude. That's disgusting. Disgusting. All right, now you now you got to see what falls. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> That's so vicious. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's gonna catch a million bass. Oh. You don't even need any audio on that thing, just look at it in the tank, you know what I mean? <laughs>